When you think of a robot, a lot of things might come to mind. Rosie, the maid from the Jetsons, R2-D2 from Star Wars, or the entire Gundam series for the anime fans out there. But even though these might all seem like far-flung pipe dreams, there are robots out there right now that can, at least to some degree, serve many of the same functions. But how exactly do real robots stack up to their sci-fi counterparts, and what different kinds are there? Well, to answer that, it helps to understand how the heck real robots do what they do. Most modern robots are self-operating physical machines that use either computer programs or hardwired circuitry to perform tasks. But this hasn't always been the case. In fact, older robots, often called automata, have actually been around for centuries. The ancient Greeks developed the world's oldest known analog computer that used a complex system of gears to determine the positions of the stars. Later on, people started developing automata purely for amusement, things like fountains, mechanical animals, and even robotic musical ensembles that could automatically play instruments. And thanks to power from steam, water, or even just weights, this kind of stuff could operate well before electrical power became widespread. But once everyone started plugging things in during the first half of the 20th century, modern robotics developed more or less alongside digital electronics. This meant that suddenly you had robots that could be programmed in much the same way that computers can, instead of being hardwired to do only one thing. This allowed robots to become deployed to do all sorts of stuff that was once only the realm of science fiction. We now have everything from massive mechanical arms that can build cars with more precision than a human could ever hope to, the humble Roomba to make vacuuming a thing of the past, and even battle droids that can keep soldiers out of hazardous situations, and hopefully at some point just fight the wars entirely amongst themselves and leave the humans out of it. Speaking of fighting though, that stuff I said about Gundam in the intro might actually be a heck of a lot closer to reality than I let on. A Gundam is specifically designed in a somewhat realistic manner as a core idea, and it was a big part of the inspiration for an upcoming real world battle between robot design from the USA and Japan in 2016. Rival robotics companies from the two countries are deploying two piloted robots that make everything you saw on BattleBots, although that was a super cool show, look like toys. Not only will the competition feature gigantic cannons and guns, but we'll also see some melee combat, which will make this something like a cross between Mech Warrior and MMA. But other than futuristic gladiatorial sports, what's down the road in the field of robotics? Well, a lot of progress has been made lately on and Androids, or droids for short. These are robots that are designed to look and to some degree act like humans. So C-3PO with his gold plating doesn't quite count. But one Korean company has actually developed a female android already who not only looks like a human, but can sing, simulate emotions, and act annoyed if you try to bother her. And beyond just showing a handful of emotions, Google has recently patented certain methods for robot personality development, possibly allowing people to do things like <laughs> hang out with their favorite celebrities or long past friends and relatives. So even though all of this might plant fears in the back of some people's minds of a robot apocalypse, we may also be heading towards a reality that's even stranger and cooler than fiction. That is to say, if the human race survives the point where dating robots becomes cheaper than dating other humans. And on the subject of dating, you ever work on like a, a project as a freelance worker or contractor and not remember which days you worked and how much you were billing and what expenses there were? Well, you should probably try out FreshBooks. We got a link in the video description. It makes invoicing, getting paid, and tracking expenses much easier. All the little details about cash flow are in one place, so you always know where you stand. It shows a full history of the invoice and allows you to check if your client has viewed it and bill them through the online tool by credit card, so there's no more excuses. If you're your own boss, you should be using stuff that makes you feel like a boss, and FreshBooks is an easy way of doing all that stuff online so you have more time to do the work you actually want to be doing. FreshBooks.com slash TechWiki, enter TechWiki in the How Did You Hear About Us section in order to start your free trial. So I guess that's pretty much it. Guys, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it sucked, leave a comment with suggestions for future fast as possible just like this one, and don't forget to subscribe, and check out the videos on our other channels. We've got a wicked video over on channels, super fun, involving like, uh, oh, what was that one that just came out? It was awesome. Yes, golf with plastic toys. You guys are gonna wanna check that out.